Hello everyone, Teacher Josie here. Welcome to our next video. Today, we are going to discuss the mechanism of breathing. Let us first review of what we have discussed in our previous video about respiratory system. What is respiratory system? Respiratory system is made up of the organs in the body that help us to breathe. How will you describe the pathway of oxygen in the breathing system? From the nose and mouth, oxygen travels to the trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, and then into the alveoli. For today's objective, describe how the movement of the diaphragm helps the air go in and out of the lungs. In the history of medicine, in 1243, the Arab physician Ebnormathis became the first person ever to describe the breathing system. His major contribution was the description of pulmonary circulation, anatomy of bronchi, and function of coronary arteries, which came out three centuries before modern science. Breathing is the process of air flowing in and out of the lungs during inhaling and exhaling. The air movements are governed by the principles of gas laws. Basically, air flows from higher to lower pressure. Pressure within a cavity increases when its volume decreases and vice versa. Breathing is achieved by rhythmically changing the volume of the chest cavity. During inhalation, the diaphragm contracts, expanding the chest cavity and the lung. This increases in volume results in a decrease in pressure outside air to flow in. During exhalation, diaphragm returns to its original position and the muscles relax. Thoracic and lung volumes decrease and pressures increase, pushing air out of the lungs. Again, when we say inhalation, diaphragm muscles contracts, diaphragm down and expands the chest cavity. During exhalation, diaphragm muscle relaxes, diaphragm ribs and chest cavity returns to their original place and norm or normal size. Can you now describe how the movement of the diaphragm helps the air go in and out of the lungs? Let's check your understanding by answering the following. Let us now check if your answer is correct. You get the correct answer. For our next video, we are going to describe the blood flow and gas exchange within the circulatory system. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe in my channel. Bye! See you next time.